burn the boats? I kept seeing burn the quotes. Bridges? Or burn the boats? Burn the... Oh, burn the... Is it burn the bridge? No, burn the boats. No, burn, the burn the boats. Burn the I think boats. you're right. No, no, I think you're right. I, I was right. I seen it on a like YouTube wants me to see people's opinion on it real bad. They really want me to pay attention to people's opinion on this. <laughs> they're like they're feeding it to me, dude. Yeah. They, well, they always they feed yeah. me joke joke world or joke clip guy. Yeah, joke world. Yeah, he does a lot of like comedian clips. Yeah, yeah. And so they always feed me and they Shout feed joke me world. his. He's got good shorts along those lines and shit. They they fed me they fed me his. Yeah. He's real. He's real. Well, he bro, bro. The hey thing guys. is, he's crazy fucking popular at this point. You know what I mean? Like the level, like he he's like culturally popular at this point. So like anything this motherfucker does, mumbles the fireman. Shout out. The wig is haven't been live in months. We are back. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you. Whether you hang for a while or hang for a minute. Love, love. It's fire, man. Joe C. Joe Gas. Who's that? His Who's special, he I think he said Joe has. He meant Joe has. Oh, gotcha. His special, the last one he did, which was six years ago, right? He didn't do a special in six years. Usually Rogan's an every two, three year guy. Um, yeah, he said has, but he was edgy in that special. That that like like those two specials in a row he did like two. I think one what was one triggered was and one was the one with the um the Ben Frank the, joke. That was a great the, joke. The Kim Kim Kardashian one. Kim Kardashian one. Yeah, exactly. That one is the one then, I that's like if right. you asked me a Joe Rogan joke, yeah, I would reference that joke. Yeah. Cause he Mine does would the, be the Benjamin Franklin out, joke. Where he gets on this on the stool and acts like a gargoyle. Yeah. Which was Yeah. Shout out. My mine would probably be the uh the, the Benjamin Franklin joke. But so you know he's he definitely done edgy the, the problem, I think, my my opinion. Like, like, I watched it, not live, but I watched it the next day with my girl. We enjoyed it. We were like, it was okay. You know, like a six or some shit. You know what I mean? Like, it was all right. But my impression of it was this is the first special he did since he's been astronomically fucking famous, right? And the first special he did after literally being put on CNN with a face filter to make him seem like fucking he was extra sick. And all the weirdo shit that went on with like the ivermectin, like so it's like I feel like this special, he like it, it was like it was like he was like almost like there was too much focus on like him almost it was like a podcast more than it was like these are jokes that I've mm -hmm. constructed and worked out. Like, you know, it was more like he was talking to people, like, ah, oh, this happened, this happened, uh, this happened. it was like very it was way, way more introspective and personal. Than usual. Usually he's like, he's a comedian, right? Like Joe Rogan has had a lot of great bits over the years and jokes and success comedically, right? Where this one more sounded like, I want to say this shit. And then there was like some jokes mixed in, you know? I, you know, the thing, I, the thing I have a, the thing I have a problem with is everybody, I, do people think they're funnier than Joe Rogan? I think we're in this world now where people think they're, they like have levels to funny where they go like, Two people can't be funny because there has to be a better funny. Yeah, you know and so they start grading man. funny, or it's like, I dare you go go see how funny you are in front of strangers, bro. Now, right. Joe Rogan. That being said, how how does Joe Rogan find an audience that isn't aware of him and hasn't listened to his podcast? Is what that you even just possible? Said, what you just said is what I think the problem is. I think he's gotten so fucking popular in the last six seven years. That his audience, his audiences don't tell him the truth anymore, you know. So he's running shit and he's doing bits, right? And his audience, they're not being honest anymore, you know. They're just there. They're there to see Joe Rogan more than that, you know. They're there to like, you know, oh, this is Rogan. <laughs> and I think a lot of shit passed, and it's a lot of that echo chamber shit. The same shit that Rogan's always talking about on his podcast right he did a lot of echo chamber kind of material right that shit that like certain people are gonna like be like yeah you know what i mean usually rogan but but how can you blame him when he literally got fucking fucked in the ass by the left-wing media joe rogan's always been a self-proclaimed leftist always he's been called the white supremacist right wing all that he's a self-proclaimed leftist liberal at all times so rogan has always said then he got fucked in the ass by left-wing media 
obviously <laughs> you're going to veer that direction more, right? And you're going to have some scars from it. You're going to go on stage for the first time in six years and talk shit, you know? So that's what I, I think a lot of it overall. Six years, bro. Think about not doing a special six years, yeah. bro. If I didn't, if I didn't talk to anybody for six years and you collect all the things about six years, yeah. that's a, that's a, that, what do you, are they mad because they listen to his podcast and then he makes a joke? Is that what people are mad about? Because you're, he's on there three times a week for the past 10, 15 years. So if you yeah. listen to him, you know, you know him. Like you're aware, like he's pretty honest. That I don't know him personally, but he seems yeah. pretty honest, you know, as honest as one can be with their personal uh, life. So, I don't understand what people are mad about. I think that I think people are just are they just they're hating the hate like they want to see somebody fall. It's a mixture. It's a mixture because this is definitely out of all his specials that I've watched. And I probably watched like, I don't know, at least three or four over the years, including this one. So at least three, probably four. I know I say at least four, including this one. This is definitely the weakest one. Right. So like part of it is it actually is his weakest special. And then part of it is like you said, some people are hating just cause it's Rogan. Right. And then, and then you get those, like those, like, you know, those, like those comedy fans that unless you're perfect, they're going to hate on you. So you got the, you know, like the regular people that are going to hate on a Rogan type plus that, you know what I mean? Plus the fact that it's not his best special, plus the fact that he was fucked over and it was more like a, you know, there was a little more, a little more Ted talk vibe at times. Right. Mm. than him just like, like, cause Rogan is a, like he is a comedian. He writes actual jokes and then people are on his neck. Um, because he did that. It's like a joke from one of his old acts that probably very few people seen that like come joke about like, it's a factory and then, and then, like, the foreman's like, how are you going to get this out? You got to get this come out. And, like, how, like, men are just like, oh, I have to come, you know? And it's actually a really good fucking bit, but it's, like, an older bit that I think he might have done back in the day and mentioned on the podcast a couple times. Mm -hmm. So people are hating on him for that, right? That's also part of it. Should say he means Ian Ellis. <laughs> he's stupid as fuck. <laughs> nah, nah. But Ian's one of them. He's definitely, like, Ian's a... See, and my man P is like that with musical. Like some people, I, I've developed over the years. I don't know if it's from creating content or maturing or whatever the fuck to ignore the hate guy. Because if I just fed into the hate guy, I'd never like a movie. I'd never like a comedy special. I'd never like a song, especially as a rapper. I really never really like a song. You know what I mean? And, and, and Ian's a comedian, so he probably has the hate. You know, it's hard for him to ignore the hate guy for for comedy like it is for me for music right so you know it, you know you, get, you know it, it's natural to have hater in you but then you got to kind of figure out how to not be that guy i mean know? i joke about it but like i have ultimate respect dude for like ian even ian for example that gets oh, on stage oh, no, no. in front of people and like on that yeah. level and he's a and funny also, dude he's joe just a rogan. dickhead also joe rogan but he's better he spent 30 something years Going on the road, yeah, and fucking inter now it comes down to like the people that pay to get in to see, but also you're you're trying to make people laugh. And I heard Norm McDonald say this: the ultimate ridiculous thing is people like you're trying to make people laugh the best you can, and they hate you when you don't. It's the most ridiculous response to anything is to go, yeah. "I hate you," when you were only trying to make their day. Right. You're trying your hardest, Right, and that's bro. my thing, too, especially with comedy, right? Like, yeah, it wasn't his best special. That's 100% no doubt about it, you know? And then we'll get into this uh, this Brandon Shop video. Spawn, everyone is better than... That's not true. Like, Rogan's definitely not, like, you know, Chris Rock, fucking, you know, fucking Dave Chappelle, fucking Richard Pryor, George Carlin, fucking, you know, you rattle off the greats. But Joe Rogan has had a couple comedy specials that are, like... Like, not so many levels above, like, really super classic ones. You know what I mean? That's, like, a really, like, a couple really good comedy specials. For real. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he has. This one definitely wasn't that 
per se. And that's that's where you got to be honest, right? Like, so like, there's definitely going to be people that suck off Rogan too much that are going to be like, oh, what do you mean? This special is amazing. Or like guys that he was talking to during the echo chamber section. Like, oh, what do you mean? What he's saying is 100% perfect. And I agree with every word. Like, is you it, have it, those too. Is there really? much people around? I, and I don't know. And I'm just, I'm just saying this as a outsider looking in is like the same thing where you have yes men, yeah. Who all the people that all ships rise in Rogan's whole mentality, which is all the comedians around him adopted his mentality, right? All ships rise when when one right, right? So he's rose all these comedians around him, Burt Kreischer, Tom yeah. Segura. All these countless comedians, right? He he brought him money. He brought him more eyes. Right. But but the thing is, are they all really honest? And can you get an honest crowd? And do you That's not give a it. fuck? Yeah. That's why we all, right? That's why I adore and like in my cold ass heart that I still love people and love humanity and this and that. I like a guy that'll walk a crowd. I like a guy that's having a bad day. And doesn't care walking the whole fucking audience, dude. If he's if he's having he's on one and he's trying something out and he walks everybody, he's not trying to he's not that's I think that's why most people do. Most people do adore somebody that will just they'll try something and they don't care if, if they walk like and that's why I think people love they have uh I don't know what you call it, reverence for like a Norm McDonald or somebody, a Patrice O'Neill yeah. that would if if they have an idea, they're working out, and so be it. If that right. crowd that day, you don't want people to walk. I don't well, think you want you don't want yeah. to walk people. Like and I don't I think, think you want to. And I and I think that's why some of it is warranted because like it wasn't just like a regular special either, right? It was like a live comedy special event. So you're obviously then you're gonna get even more attention and understandably so more criticism right so like some of it is founded you know now I, I did watch the whole thing there was definitely some funny ass moments there was definitely some moments where i was like fuck especially as a podcast fan you know my girl is a very harsh critic on comedy and she kind of said the same thing as me she's like no it was okay like you know what i mean like it wasn't terrible it wasn't great it wasn't the worst but it definitely like like it's not touching many of the, like any like, and it's not even touching Joe Rogan specials, right? So, you know, you, you got a very driven, a hundred percent. No, no, he's not overspoken. See, this is the thing. Now, this is where I gotta call out the bullshit, and I'll suck his dick for the podcast a little bit, but not for the comedy necessarily, right? But for the podcast, he's just speaking. It's not overspoken, underspoken. He's just speaking. He's him. Just like if, if Focus had that kind of platform, I'm speaking and I'm me, you know? And he's done a lot to modify the way he uh, approaches things. And one thing about Rogan that, that, that a lot of people need to be in the media more that aren't is that he's very nuanced. And I've watched him change his mind. Somebody brings new information. He goes, oh, shit, you know? So, yeah, I mean, I get what you're saying with overspoken in a way, but if you have that big of a platform, you're always going to be overspoken. Tell me a human being who has that type of platform that speaks that much to that many people that does it without fucking up, making mistakes, especially being a comedian where we run bits. If you took the 10 worst things I said on the Wiggers and just played them, you feel like, oh, that dude is a fucking piece oh, yeah. of uh, shit. Yeah. I'm, I'm a racist, yeah. uh, gay, white supremacist, uh, uh, self hating, gay, uh, right. Jew, Jew hater lover. Um, but also, yeah. Cliff, what, you know, great point. And what I, what I would also say is that what I think that, and and this is our the generation. I don't know who these people are. I don't have anybody in real life saying these things about Joe Rogan. And maybe it doesn't matter because it's a fucking opinion. Who gives a shit? But also. Joe Rogan is an overachiever to the to the millionth degree. That's true. Admittedly so. Even from his mouth, he'll tell you that shit. You know what I mean? And I yeah. am old school, and I appreciate an overachiever where I go, if you work hard enough at whatever, you can – things happen, bro. You got to put yourself out there. I'm lazy also. I'm, I'm the exact opposite where I, I, I'm an underachiever. And that's fine too, but I also rationalize <laughs> that I don't do the work. So how can I reap the rewards? I'm okay, and I'm also okay with that. We're gonna go to this other side of the Rogan situation. 
which is there there people people are accusing him of uh <laughs> stealing Joe Rogan accused of stealing comedy material from Brendan Shop. I mean, how much lower can you get? Could they like any just put any other comedian's name in there and it's better than that, bro? Am I right? Jesus Christ! Like they, bro. So is this is this a is this a psyop? <laughs> I feel like this is a psyop. It's bro. a setup. It turns out and Joe I mean, Rogan stole the joke in order to make it go viral that he stole the joke in order I mean, to drive more traffic to him and right. shop. Yeah, we're That's Joe marketing. Rogan is done. With- as soon as he's done with his special, all right, guys, good night. And he goes, this fucking shit sucks, dude. I don't know what the fuck we're going to do. Dog, if we put on the Brandon Schaub, you stole a joke, dude. Bob. You're in, man. Uh, bro, You're they, fucking they, in, big dog. They, 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 this, they, this a woke bitch with a fucking, with a with an earring and a clitoris that normally wouldn't like Joe Rogan giving him that perfect marketing advice. Uh, you know, <laughs> that perfect, perfect uh, marketing advice. So let's check it out. Let's listen for ourselves. With this wonderful Chinese voice he does here. Oh, no! Look, there's Harry! Mr. Shop, after you numb your lip, you need many, many stitches. This be worse pain in your life. With all these big criticisms of our infrastructure! Well, that is rough, but at least he's not straight up copying Brendan's jokes, right? My life would be so much easier if I was just gay as shit. <laughs> I wish I was gay. It looks way easier. We'd, like, play video games all day. We'd work out. At night, we'd fuck each other. <laughs> You're hanging out with only guys. No one can get pregnant. That is a low that is so low where I never expected Joe to go. Stealing from Brendan Schaub. My God, if that is not the death knell of a comedy career, then I don't know. All right. Is that is that Jinx? So judging from... Yeah, is that yeah, Jinx? Jinx's like, really a fucking smoke yeah, joke. Yeah, yeah. I comedy swear to God, career. I suck that dick. Mm. I mean... And Joe these Rogan. Guys, and he's got damn plaques and their fucking thing. And I think I'm black mm. too, but I might fucking... I ain't black though. Um, if everybody else is black, but if I'm black, then nobody else is black. And monkey if emoji. I do black shit, then banana emoji. And I, I'll be working on the next channel. If I work out, then and we're working out. Banana, banana emoji. Numbers. And then if you guys sound effect, small, sound effect, guys, <laughs> guys. So what do you think? Those. Listen to that. What do you, what's your initial thoughts? What do I think? I, this is what I tell whoever that guy is. That's that's trying to molest our ears is so wild right i mean and the music in the background too pick the music with all these big criticisms of our infrastructure well that is rough but at least oh wait the music was in the beginning jokes right my life would be look there's harry mr shop after you numb your lip you need many many stitches (laughs) it's be worth so dramatic Brandon Shaw looks Chinese in that fucking picture, dude. He looks like the big boss at the end of a fucking Street Fighter fucking... You know what I mean? Like a 90s Street Fighter. Right. And, and just the idea that Joe Rogan making a Chinese voice. So he first tried to like... He gave a little connect there. Right? He's like, well, that's not so bad. At least he's not stealing actual old jokes. So he put a little connection there. Right, but there's zero connection because seventeen thousand comedians have made a bad Chinese or a good Chinese accent, right? Right. Well, the- that's that's the thing, right? It's like, and now yeah. you, that's what I like about this is that there's so many people getting backwards on it, where yeah. they're like, "Oh, well, if you say like the, if me, if I make a joke and I I have the or fuck or ass or cunt in it, then I've copied. You've Not copied. only have I copied, <laughs> I've bit." And studied, and now I'm purposefully molesting that and shitting on the the comedian, whoever I stole it from. Do, do you know how many? I guarantee you, 15 other comedians have made the who looks so much easier to be homosexual joke. It's not, it's not like fucking, you know, like, like Joe Rogan or Brendan Schaub is the fucking, is like a new... That's not a new thing. It's not like Brendan yeah. Schaub invented it. And then fucking, uh, a- a- and then what's his name? Oh, I just wanted to fuck my friend. Yeah, man. We were just fucking, and then, uh, it's like, what? Yeah, of course. Hey, hey uh, you know how much easier it would be to homosexual? You don't got a woman nagging you all the time. I've literally yeah. heard now, now, now both of the, here's the main point, right? Rogan didn't steal from him, in my opinion, but they're both hacks for doing that exact joke. Cause that's like, you've heard some rendition of that, oh man, so much easier to be gay. I wish I was gay, bro. I've heard that probably twenty times over the fucking years. 
You know, so no, Rogan didn't bite off Shab. And yes, both of them are hacks for doing it. And yes, Rogan had a subpar special. But like, if you think, you, so so they're trying to shit on Joe Rogan by saying you bit off Brendan Shab, which makes you the lowest ever, which we agree with, right? For the most part, right? But on the same token, you're giving Brendan Shab credit and acting like he even created that premise. Because whoever created that premise deserves credit because it's actually a funny premise to start with in 1970 right or 1980 and you go you know what are you doing over there dust because i'm gonna fucking donkey kick you through the screen what are you doing bro what are you setting up your porn search for later bro i'm giving you all this fucking energy all this fucking retarded hey i'm fucking from new york and i'm like hey joe rogan fucking bread and shop and you're fucking you're there staring at your phone for fucking for I hate you, bro. What are you doing? I I'm hate trying you. To fucking put this on fucking goddamn X, guys. Okay, you're guys. posting our link to X right now. Yeah, yeah. You're posting our we link need to help. X in the we middle need, of the help night us. when help nobody us, pays attention to your X at all. Instead of engaging with me and creating a clip that could go on X later that would actually have a chance to do well. I fucking. I, I, Hate how do you, you. How do you spell um shab? <laughs> yeah. uh, I think it's a uh, H. Is it S C H D? You know, so so that's my main point, right? Like originally, that would be a good premise, right? Dust initially, are, are you done sending this fucking X? No, nope, this is very important. You. This is I'm gonna, gonna, you, I'm gonna send this a drone. I'm gonna send the first very Amazon important. murder drone, and it's just gonna come through your fucking window, bro. Guys, this is very important, guys. This is and, so important, <laughs> guys. And I'm gonna make it have Arnold Schwarzenegger fucking, <laughs> fucking done deal, guys. We're gonna get about 700 million followers in that one, guys. Okay, guys, and I'm gonna tell you that right now. Yeah, Brendan Shaw looks like a fucking mad Chinese woman on this video, and it's <laughs> wild. Bro, the irony of the first time you ever share anything we create being mid-show. I figured anyway. I should. That's why I figured I should. <laughs> I figured I should. So the point I was trying to make was they're accusing Joe Rogan of stealing from Brendan Schaub, which ironically would actually be giving Brendan Schaub credit for creating a good original bit. Because 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago, whoever actually created that the first time, the, ah, it's easier to be gay. My wife won't bother me. Or, ah, it's easier to be gay. I'll just hang with the guy. Like, we all know that's like, I, man, how many I times think, have you heard that said? I think Daniel Tosh was the first one I, I heard. Was he? he was, I wish I was gay. Have another man around in the house. I think all the stuff we'd get done. <laughs> right, right. Plus, we'd be fucking. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. So it's like, yeah, that's like, what I heard. I heard Norm McDonald do that one like 10 years ago. I wish where he I was, was like, why wouldn't right. you, if you have a gay friend, why wouldn't you just jerk your boy off? You're not gay. Just do him a favor. He was like, yeah. do him a solid. That's what I'm saying. It's a I heard premise. him say that, and I was like, that's the greatest fucking premise of all time. Yeah, yeah. Dust, just, Dust, Dust started jerking off his friends right after that. This is the best joke I ever heard. It's just a joke, guys. Come in my face. It's just a joke. Norm McDonald came out of the clouds and was like, why aren't you jerking more more your boys off, Doc? <laughs> right? I mean, where do you land on this, Ian? Let me hear your solilo soliloquy. <laughs> um, if I'm scoring Joe on a technical level, he's demonstrated all of the high-level skills of a high-level comedian. He has good timing. He has good act outs. He has good facial expressions. He's he's tightened up the jokes. He's used the least amount of words. It's he's on sort of the cutting edge of what everybody's talking about. Even if that seems very boomerish and old to us internet people, right. you know he's speaking to the masses. <laughs> he's the edgiest guy talking, you know, to the masses. And uh, I think they're being too hard. Like, does he suck? Yes. But you're not hitting him for what he actually sucks at. He's, he's proficient at that. He's as good yeah. or better than 90% of the people doing it. And I know that sucks. I hate it, too. I'm also mad that that tiny man in that giant shirt with sweaty nipples is better than these guys. That's how much comedy sucks yeah. is that right. he's like... He really is the top 250 yeah. Yeah. realist people Top 25%, alive. right? Top 25% maybe is some shit like that, right? What? You, you'll top go Lewis 25%? is edgier. 10? Lewis, Lewis is edgier, but he can't tell a fucking joke. He can't do the job of it. Joe 
right. learn the job of it. He right. right. Lewis is funny as fuck. He's well, this funny is what we're talking about, about, Ian, right? He's right. over... He's... Uh, uh, Joe, I'm sorry. Cliff, you need to shut your fucking mouth when I'm saying what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, hater, yeah. go protest someplace else. Exactly. <laughs> he's an overachiever <laughs> to like the ninth million degree. Joe Rogan is, right? Like, discipline, joke, like, he had studied so much, bro. It doesn't matter. He'll make it, Joe. He'll make it happen, motherfuckers. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's effective. He's like an effective comedian that, but, but, Ian, would you agree, though, that, like, he's definitely put out a couple good specials, even though, like, he's not, like, as good as maybe people want him to be at times? This is as close to Bill Hicks in the flesh as you're going to get. Did you expect you Joe Rogan to come out, light a cigarette, and go, God, we got to talk about fucking these kids? God, so, right. first of all, right. Michelle Obama's penis is real. Here's some right. photos from the Hunter Biden laptop. Like, right. Did you think that's what he was going to do? Right. But he did touch on those things, which is decent. What? But you yeah. shut your mouth. He did? No, he touched on it a little. Like he, all right, so this is what he did. He said, like, he said five things in a row. Right, that were like Bigfoot, this, that. Michelle Obama has a penis, and he said like five things in a row. And he's like, "I'm just joking. I I believe all of those things except Michelle Obama has a penis." But he kind of uh, also gave a face. He so he thing. took he took Michelle Obama myth over fucking Bigfoot. I would take. I don't remember what it was. I, I might not even I, say. I Bigfoot. might take Bigfoot over. Yeah, that, he, but big go dick. Ahead. He took Bigfoot over Big Dick. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> Which and a lot of people that are mad at Joe are like. It's not a big deal that he said Michelle Obama has a dick. He said that to the whole world. <laughs> right. And they right. listen. Right. For and him, even though he a bailed. Super risky thing to do. Um, question is, do you think, what would you say, like, if you had that many, like, if you were able to command an arena full of Ian Ellis fans, right, and you were showing up, how how would you approach that? How would that? <laughs> I, I'm not a stand up comedian. I haven't never yeah. done stand up, but I yeah. I want to know like how what would you think of that? Like would you just take it for granted, or would you be like I'm gonna I, I'm gonna still do me? That's too much responsibility. I wouldn't want that shit. Yeah, <laughs> I go, yeah. yeah. I leave right. me I, like you right. know how Joe Rogan is always like I'm dumb. <laughs> That's him right. going like guys, please. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I, I I don't know. My brain is right. yeah. capacity. I'm just talking. Uh, I shit. say what I say. Right. right. Well, not even that. It's like he he's like, I'm I'll tell you to the best of my ability. But I even I right. don't fucking know anymore. It's right. Mm -hmm. The whole thing is a, a toss up. Right. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's wild, but dude. When I, you get that big, I mean, how big can you get? Who's bigger than Joe Rogan in a lifetime? No, of, nobody. Of nobody. Mothers and grandmas and wow, ch children that know who the fuck this well, is, and then you're father, expected to come out of nowhere and surprise people. Uh, I mean, my father, who I had, yeah, who's, who's the next like guy? Thirteen too. years <laughs> was like, I love Joe Rogan. I heard he. It was like the hits. I thought he went through and he did all of his best bits. He Louis C.K. bent the samurai sword. And he really showed off and stuff. I wish he, he did. did. No, I wish he did. He, he didn't did jerking do... off. He did what if what if getting butt fucked makes you come? <laughs> yeah. I mean, but he, he did all, one. Honestly, he bro, did one. He did that and, one uh warehouse come bit. That was the one I recognized, but he said it on the podcast more than he did it on a special that went anywhere. I wish he did the hits. Bro, if he did the hits, people wouldn't be our, talking to shit. Because if boy, you his best boy is decent. Our boy Uniqueness Saiyans Entertainment, he posted like 10 examples of him. He was like, Del Rogan started bombing. <laughs> he just did old bits. <laughs> and, and he did. Joe I watched said he special. had this special done in 2020. And then the COVID came. So he put it off for another six years. And he had a whole right. new act since then. But then you go up there. It's 10 minutes of new material. And then he starts bombing. And then he does a bunch of old bits. In, in direct response to what Unique said. He might have noticed more of that stuff because he's an actual super fan of Rogan, right? Whereas I only noticed one bit as one of his good bits, quote unquote, his greatest hits. And most of his listeners don't know he does comedy. <laughs> and that's the thing, right? There's a lot of like I didn't like I know I knew my knowing of Joe Rogan, right? Was was news radio, fear factor, his podcast. Then I started watching his his stand up more. So if he was going to his greatest hits, his greatest hits are even shittier than I thought they were, <laughs> you know, because it, it really was not a great special. But the two specials that came out in like 
15 and 16 or 16 or whatever that like those two that came out in like a three year span were they were both <laughs> the ones the ones that he the ones he did the best bits from. no he didn't no he didn't he didn't that's what i'm saying he didn't well i didn't remember um, him. it was fine it was fine it yeah. was fine it was he fine. met expectations yeah. he didn't exceed expectations he did, it wasn't culture yeah. shifting but it was fine, you know. B plus. I think he came up short. I think he did come up short. I will say that. Like, I, I, like I'm tall. being harsh. <laughs> I'm being harsh, but also trying to be like fair. You know, he's it was been very, around like, for decades. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> he has seven different fan bases that know him from one thing. It's you weird, know? right? <laughs> he's got a lot sure. of boxes to check. That's interesting. That's a good way to look at it too, right? Like you never people know you from so many weird avenues. <laughs> That's an interesting standpoint though, because it is hard to make everyone it's hard to make anyone happy let alone everyone happy 